That's what's required. Then well, that's, that's fantastic. That's yeah. All. Right. Um, now the we move on here. This is um, sort of carriage production here. Um, generally, get, again, got um, a lot of lack of success really in the clay soil. Our soil here is sort of very sort of clay and very quite heavy. And so I just put in a, a different mix here with a lot of sand in it right. and carrots like that, and they would grow very nicely and there. But they but grow in this area. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, the that's Champere, they're only about that 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 they're high. They're short. Yeah, short. So they're quite sweet, yeah. are they? Beautiful the carrots, and just put them and replace them, and yeah. you don't really need to be too bothered about um, uh, putting fertilizer or any or any help in there because they don't last very long, mm -hmm. and they just yeah, grow very quickly and. Brilliant. Yeah. You, you, Here we've got strawberries. strawberries. And, um, Who doesn't like strawberries? They're just delicious. Well, there are days when I don't like them. I have to tell <laughs> are you. they hard work? <laughs> Not really, no. I mean, it's it, again, it's it's competition between yourself and, and, and the pigeons. And uh, the pigeons get up a lot earlier than I do. So um, how so do you protect you don't, them? You don't cover them? Sometimes I do, sometimes yeah. I don't. Um, in, in general, you, you yes, I mean, I, I like to protect them. But again, windy days, your protection gets ruined. And, and somehow the pigeons have this incredible capacity to get in under everything and get out <laughs> now, I'm not overly concerned mm -hmm. you generally will generally get sort of certainly five or six maybe ten pots of jam out of that sort of area yeah. there and oh, would you isn't that fantastic you see they're flowering coming, yeah. almost coming to flower already that's which is that's how early. are they coming oh, into well, flower very the, early these ones are slightly older okay uh, these ones are new El Santos yeah and um, they're, they're the ones recommended apparently by the um, people in the park whose name escapes me from. But the the El Santo was the one sort of recommended right. by by them as a sort of reader of the property section of the Irish Times. It's the only <laughs> part of it that ever interested me these Actually, days. Do you see so, this here now? What what is this for? That's just to control weeds, generally to just to stop the weeds competing with the plant. It's right. Really I mean this is passive. Keep cell it organized and well, yeah. Yeah, it keeps it organized way, yeah. and it allows you to just be very, very selective about what you grow. Yeah. Anything that isn't growing there you can get it out very, very good. you don't want growing there. Get out there. And your runners aren't going to. Well, the runners run along the top. And it allows you to cut them off and yeah. put them into pots without yeah. using them. So, right. so you okay. can pick out the runners at any stage. This lot here now will have a lot. These had runners a lot last year, as you can see by the remains of the runners there. So that's the remains of a runner. And uh, that's been cut off, and I now have potted that up elsewhere, so that'll go back in next year. And how long will you keep the old ones? Going years well, it's interesting, you? you know, people say, oh, three years is, is the max, but I normally get four or five years out of them, mm -hmm. and nicely, they, 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 they'll, these ones here now, specifically that one, that one, that one, that, that one there, they will start now to run down, this is their last year, Yeah. you know, so they better enjoy it, if they're on the way out, <laughs> <laughs> that's really... Wow. Don't listen. Oh, don't listen. <laughs> yeah, don't listen, I can see them turning in, saying, rotter, rotter. So then you move on and you have your potatoes, you're going to yeah, put I your did. potatoes Yeah, I'm going to put potatoes there. in here, yeah. I've... Put some um, chicken manure down, and so you're um, feeding the soil. I'll just then. literally letting the soil absorb it for a couple of more days, and then I'll put down um, Queen's potatoes, which are the favourite of the household. So why wouldn't you? They're not as seasonal as people tend to think they are. If you sow them late, then you get a late crop. Yep. If you sow them early, you get an early crop. Oh so right, you can okay. Have them all, all season long with just different types of. And the next you're preparing, you've got what's that up at the end there? This is cut and come again broccoli. Uh, you just literally, there, there are more than enough plants there to feed maybe um, a small country actually. Mm. Um, they, they sprout and you cut them and sprout, you cut them and sprout, you cut oh, them. As long brilliant. as you don't let them go to flower, they'll sprout all, all season. It's, and when will they come into, when will you get food from them? Probably, I'm, depending on the 
the weather's been very strange this year, but I would expect to be eating them, starting to eat them by June. Oh, right, okay. Brilliant. Now, of course, we're on to the next one, raspberries. Ah, yes. Everybody loves raspberries. Well, these are the summer raspberries. This is well organised. And they're just set up because the space is limited. It's, you know, you're very... A lot of people I know, certainly my, my father-in-law and a lot of people who I would have learned a lot from, would have grown them straight up and you pick yep. them, you cut them off the top and then you, you pick them. But it's just impractical here, we just don't have the space, we yeah. don't have the area. So I just thought I'd train them up and down and um, but that's so well it means all the fruit now is falling out yeah. over the side and yeah. that's it. And that's it. Access yeah. and more fruit probably from the small space. And again, you, you've done your, you've done it well. Oh, like it's really sturdy. I mean, that's just, <laughs> just so sturdy. I mean. <laughs> yeah, no, but you know, for for the Joe soap going out there, that's a great sort of way of doing it. It's that's nice just a few old bits of wood. I mean, all this stuff wood. is nothing. Absolutely. So it doesn't cost you a lot to do something like it's that. It's probably about fibres worth of material, <laughs> yeah. including, including the plants. <laughs> yeah. And then the next setup here we have. Well, we don't. Along here, I've left it just. Soil is resting. Up from here will come as one has come. In fact, the autumn raspberries. So here's an autumn raspberry here. Right. Um, okay. They'll come up. They'll grow to about probably about six feet, five and a half, six feet, maybe seven feet. And I'll train them along here because they're very soft and malleable. And the autumn raspberries produce raspberries on the this year's stock. So you cut them back at the end of the year, and they're gone. Oh right. And okay. The next, they come up again and they grow again. They grow again. Whereas those raspberries there. Grow on last year's growth. Okay, that's so that's last year's growth, and so it's this it's year's growth will be just well, up and gone. Now we're going to move over, we're going to have another clip where we're going to move over to what's over on this side. These are all your vegetables. Well, vegetables. Certainly, uh, quite frankly, I'm going to cut this clip and we're going to go over to the vegetables. That's great. So, anybody wanting to contact us at gardenville.tv, if you grow your own fruit, we'd love to hear from you.